All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to talk about inserting calls to action into your blog content. And remember that when we were looking at the blog content planner, when we were creating a post like, okay, we're going to do this. This is going to be a um, crowdsourced post. So like one of the ones we talked about, and this is going to be text. And it's going to be about weight training. Okay, and so I am going to use the body mass calculator. And um, I am going to, the crowdsourced post that we're going to do is we're going to ask five fitness trainers weigh in on the best bicep exercise. Okay, that, probably, that, that headline could probably be better. But... The big question is, once this post goes live and is on the internet, that is a top of funnel piece of content. And we want to move people from the top of the funnel to the middle of the funnel. And in order to do that, we're going to make them an offer. And it's going to be the body mass calculator in this case. All right. And that is a middle of funnel offer. Remember, if we go back and look at our content life cycle, they are up here in this crowdsourced post on the blog, all right? And they are and they are, you know, getting familiar with us and 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 starting to, you know, experience our brand and so forth and on the blog, but they are still not a lead. And so these readers that come in to read this crowdsourced post that we create, it's so great, you know, it's got all these information about great bicep exercises. We want to make them a middle of funnel offer in this in this top of funnel content to move them down into the middle of the funnel. So let's take a look at how this actually plays out online in reality. So this is a post that we ran recently on Digital Marketer. Four lessons I learned from my Facebook advertising account manager. And this is a great post, okay? Um, you know, we went and visited at Facebook and here's our account manager and all these things. And so we're talking along about it. And we're giving all these people these great content because we're telling them, you know, something that happened at, at Facebook. So this is a great top of funnel blog post that we're just going to let people have access to for free. We're going to send it to our email newsletter. We're going to put it out on our social you know, channels that you can come and read this and find out what we learned at Facebook. And while you're reading along here, you're going to see this. All right. So here is a little ad for a middle of funnel piece of content. Remember earlier on in the certification, we talked about how content marketing is the intersection of publishing and advertising. It's the intersection of publishing and advertising. We are, we are a publisher here. We are an advertiser here. Okay. So we are advertising an offer around our own content. And, um, going back to this, when, when I click on this ad, you know, it says, you know, again, this is a, this is an article about Facebook advertising. So anybody reading it has self-selected, all right? We know something about the person reading this, and that is that they're interested in Facebook advertising. So we make them the appropriate middle of funnel offer in the top of funnel content. And we say, hey, um, do you want Digital Marketers Ultimate Guide to Facebook Targeting? And if you do, click here, or you can click this image, right? So I click here, and I get taken to the middle of funnel squeeze page, where I can now read this copy and decide whether or not I want this. I click there, I put my email address in here, and now I've become a lead, all right? And this is important, guys. It's important to understand that inside of your content, you're going to want to make offers to get people to, uh, to the middle of the funnel. All right. Now, how do we actually go about doing this? Well, there's a couple of ways. One is that you can just literally just do a text link. You know, you can do a little call out in here. Like if this image was not here, we would still get clicks on this little link. If you want a bonus, add in a nice graphic. If you've got the resources or you can do it yourself, create a, an ad for your own uh, middle of funnel offer or have your graphics person create it. 
And then the last thing that you can do, uh, let me jump back and show you another style of offer that we make. Let me see if I can find one maybe in this article. I, we think we used a call to action. Here we go. This is called a Johnson box. Okay, a Johnson box is a box that looks a little different. It's got a different background and it sort of calls out. And this is an ad that we just create with a little bit, a little piece of code. And I'm going to show you that piece of code right now. And then underneath this video, you can actually use this video on your own website. All right, so I'm now inside the actual WordPress editor of this post. If I go to the code side of things, I'm going to show you the actual piece of code that we use to create this this cool looking this cool looking ad all right so let's go back to the front end of this post and take a take a look again here just to remind ourselves all right so this is what we're looking at this yellow box this yellow box is created by this little bit of what we call Johnson box code right here. It says div style and all this gibberish that, that if you know you don't need to understand, the only thing you need to do is copy and paste this into the text side of your blog post in WordPress and then change the stuff that's in the middle to your own offer. And once you paste it into the code side, you can then switch back to the visual side and you'll see it in here. So this is your little ad space right here to get people to move to the middle of the funnel. All right, is you want to, is you want to make an offer and you wanna make the right offer, all right? If you've got more than one middle of funnel offer or resource that you can offer, um, you wanna make the right one. Okay, you want to make the one that's relevant to the piece of content that they are reading. And you don't have to do it that way. If you have no other resource that's really uh, relevant to that piece of content, there's two things for me to say about that. The first one is link to any offer, okay, because you're crazy not to make an offer in a blog post. And then the second one is put it on your short list of things to do as a content marketer to create a middle of funnel offer for that content type. Or the last thing you can do is just stop creating content about that subject because it's apparently not consistent with what you sell as a company and therefore um, you need to decide whether or not it makes any sense to be creating content about that topic if you have no offers related to it. All right, so underneath this video, you'll find that little bit of code. It's in a little document. You can copy it, paste it into the text side of any blog post and it'll create this little yellow box. And if you know anything about HTML, uh, you can make this box any color you want. You can make the, you know, the border different. You can make the fonts inside different if you know things about HTML. If you don't or you don't care to learn anything or change it, you just use this yellow box just, just like this uh, because what it does is it when somebody's reading along, they're reading this great top of funnel content and then bang, they see this they see this offer, okay? And we actually usually put one in the middle and we put one at the end of every blog post. There's gonna be an offer and we get lots and lots of clicks and lots of leads from people that are coming through our top of funnel content and moving into the middle of the funnel.